Hello there, Erner here, and today we will review Lycomedes Dolopians. These Dolopians are led by Lycomedes, who is an archer hero with uh, abilities that improve his reload or, or damage, and maybe even more. One unique ability for this hero is Missile Resistance, which is brand new and you f will not find this on any other archer hero. The secondary hero of this faction is Neoptolemos, a very fearsome and strong dualist hero uh, who is able to cause fear, go full berserk, pose his weapon and attack and bring down enemies quite quickly. It's, he is like Achilles, but not so famous and not so unbreakable. With the infantry roster, as island faction we are starting with islanders, very weak unit, but thanks to unspottable you are able to create flanking opportunities. For flank flanking we got Dolopian Tone Watch, who also got weak stats and weapon, but thanks to flanking attack improved, uh, it, it is able to bring down enemies much faster. For your front line, you are going to use Dolopian Spearmen, who have slightly weaker stats than compared to other units, but they are able to absorb or negate completely enemy charging. So for holding a line in early game, this is a good unit. Instead, there is Spearman, standard Achaean frontline option, which is much weaker and uh, not so efficient in holding the line or in fighting. Even though it, uh, it has quite a good weapon, I do not recommend this standard Spearman. In the mid game, we got access to Island Club Warriors, who are pre pretty strong dualists thanks to their weapon. And again, with Unspotable, you are able to create flanking opportunities or protect your missiles from enemies. Then, finally, some sword unit of this faction. And this faction is uh, strong around sword units. And I will tell you why. Apart from quite standard offensive uh, stats and relatively okay or good weapon, they are not just great flankers, they also have very nice charge bonus, which will be very useful at dealing Furious Charge uh, ability, he, which brings down enemy defense even more. So these swordsmen are pretty good at bringing down enemies quickly. Then we got Spear uh, char flanking option which is very fast with 55 speed, solid uh, weapon which is strong against swords, you got flanking and very nice charge bonus. These guys uh, will survive slightly better than their weaker parts. For the front line uh, we got the Dolopian shielded spearman with standard shield, nice defensive capabilities, solid weapon, and again, you are going to use them thanks to expert charge defense, holding still with your front line to eat enemy charge. For more flanking or supporting your front line, you are going to use Dolopian Armored Swordsmen, who are very, very good at dueling thanks to their charge, and Furious Charge will bring enemies. Uh, down very quickly. They have 41 attack which is very high so they are very good at killing enemy units. For the late game we got our frontline upgrade with solid weapon, very good stats and nice armor and HP. Again nothing is changing, you are going to use expert charge defense here. For the charger upgrade, they get stronger weapon, even more melee attack, the, and their charge bonus is insane. 
so you will be using these as cycle chargers or swap chargers and now the strongest unit Myrmidons of Skyros they are very similar to the Achilles Myrmidons these guys have very solid attack and defense they have the best sword they can have very nice and high charge will which you will be familiar using together with furious charge they are awesome flankers and on top of that these guys are very scary so you will be you, be, you will be routing enemy units very quickly with these fearsome myrmidons compared to standard myrmidons these are not unbreakable but instead they are very fearful and very strong for the missiles we go with Ekian slings standard missiles very good unit always recommend this in to use them in the campaign then we got the archer line Dolopian archers are an improved version of the standard bowman let me show you the standard bowman this unit is very weak uh, and terrible and why I don't recommend bowmen? Because look at the Dolopian archers. They have uh, stats as they should have, and they have also better cost as it should be for their performance. And also, Dolopian archers have 48 speed, which is necessary for very good skirmishing. Then we got island skirmishers, a skirmish unit. To standard one which I do not recommend unless you really want to use uh, javelins on the mid cane upgrade we got Dolopian veteran archers with standard range and their missile damage there is nothing special about this uh, Lycomedes Dolopians are more about having strong swords and not about having too strong missiles but they have late game missile upgrade uh, which which has 170 range and pretty solid uh, missile output damage they are expensive because of their melee stats so these missiles will do well in the combat so that's why they are slightly more expensive they will able to do melee damage when you run out of ammunition or when enemy is going to flank around you so that's why these missiles will be not scared by the enemy infantry then we got chariots as a key faction we got access to melee uh, melee chariots and for and heavy melee chariots I do recommend using them in the campaign and they synergize very well with our swords who got furious charge together they can be very strong and very last skirmish chariot I do not recommend uh, this missile chariot at all it's it has weak missile output even though number is nice but 12 models is not enough and in melee this unit will die quickly now i will show you a real battle against two experienced uh, total war uh, troy players there is a battle between Lycomedes dolopians and pylos so you will be seeing a nice army compositions in competitive uh, battles so we are starting with our Dolopians and we are using our melee hero together with Myrmidons of Skyros. Our frontline behind them are Nobles of Skyros, which will be able to eat enemy charge. Our game plan is to go and flank around on the both sides using open field for chariots and using uh, terrain or the forest for our archers and for our town watch to go around and catch these units uh, 
initially we, we were thinking that the city guards are well hidden in this tall grass but sadly they can only hide in the forest so let's have a look on the enemy army compositions they br brought a lot of uh, expensive and strong archers and put their mid-tier front line on the front they are baked, baked, baked down by even heavy uh, front line and as you can see thanks to their range and position they are able to deal nice damage now we have realized that we are no, not hidden in this tall grass but we are able to do some skirmishing so we can move forward with our forces our goal is not to win this skir missile skirmishing battle but prepare our flanks for final battle as you can see on the back uh, enemy got the pillion heavy chariots which are using the wedge formation ability you can see the pilots review on my other video as battle continues let's speed it up enemy decides to take this very well protected area Your warriors are rallying. but meanwhile we are able to shuffle our units a little bit and more importantly we are bringing our flankers and we are hoping to be sneaky about this so we patiently wait for enemies to come closer and maybe hopefully engage somewhere here and we see the their chariot is extended right here so maybe we will be able to overwhelm this chariot and now is our opportunity to sneak behind as the enemy was focusing on dealing missile damage to us now our guys are hidden we are able to wait for a while and enemy decide to sally out and go forward You're since here. our hero is, is attacked attack? we should go back and forward so they are not focusing our hero but they focus our mid-tier frontline instead and now it's going to happen our hidden flankers are going forward our chariots are going to duel and occupy enemy chariots and more importantly our hero and our myrmidons are going to deal with enemy frontline and hero eventually our our destruction is going to do nice havoc in enemy ranks we are hoping to bring heavy chariots against many medium units and meanwhile there is a nice duel between our chariots and pylos heavy chariots as you could hear our heavy chariot com was deleted but our our Myrmidons are doing some work right here uh, since these two companions of Nestor are expensive units we were able to occupy them with very cheap Dolopian Town Watch and it allows us to use our Myrmidons to sandwich enemy hero and I will show you enemy hero is having a lot of HP right now what else is happening we are able to sandwich one pillion spearman here we are still occupying enemy companions of Nestor chariots are still dwelling and now have a look at our our heroes our hero half HP doing well and now is the crucial point enemy hero died 
Mirbidos are very good at killing. And now enemy hero is dropping even more. So to speed it up slightly. What is going on? And Pylos is finally using their companions of Nestor. Finally, they were occupied for a long. The chariots uh, traded well. They have killed each other. And our Myrmidons are much better than the companions of Nestor. So these Myrmidons will, will eventually win against this heavy frontline unit. And our hero is fighting valiantly. He will, he will almost rout and the other Myrmidons are going to kill a remaining easy unit. So even though enemy had better position, better missiles, uh, we were able to win thanks to our cheap uh, town watch from the behind and we were able to show you how Mirbitons are able to grind enemies and win battles. Let me show you our chariots. This one was deleted by our mistake. Our chariot did well against enemy chariot. Enemy missiles did a lot of uh, damage. Uh, but our victory was thanks to our hero, which de decimated enemy hero and the other Sk Mirbidons of Skyros with, ver with a lot of uh, v damage and value. Our skirmishing was there mostly for uh, destruction, even though they did, did nice damage, and our destruction was needed for our flankers to do a lot of work. This unit, Town Watch, is very cheap and brought a lot of value. It was all about destruction and flanking. Meanwhile, our front line, this one did really well, the other one, okay, very well. And enemy front line did nothing, okay, nothing, almost nothing. And their expensive units were engaged very late in the game, so they did not participate in protecting of remaining uh, missiles or other units. So that is all. See you later.